morning and welcome to another edition of Mount Line Talk in the Morning. Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please sit. I am Freddy Quiroz. And I'm Isabel Correa. Today, Today is Monday, September 23rd, 2019. Hey, what's for lunch today? Today there will be chicken burrito. Don't forget the school provides breakfast at no cost. They have great things like cinnamon rolls and Pop-Tarts. Stop by the cafeteria and fuel up for the day. Here, Here is a, a message, message from, from our principal. principal. Merlewood Middle School is extremely lucky to have a very special Find Kind Assembly. Hosted by the two co-founders, Molly Thompson and Lauren Paw, this assembly is for Mira Loma Middle School girls. Here is a trailer for the kindness campaign. There's a universal truth shared by all females. A truth which has been swept under the rug for generations. We're shooting a documentary about females and how vicious we can be to each other. <laughs> There's a fountain right over there. What? There's a fountain if you guys want to play. That's a great thing. About time. <laughs> Between girls, it is uh, like a you know ancient Roman war or something. You know, on, on a good day, they're all really cute and and you know drawing hearts all over each other's papers and stuff. On a bad day, it's it's you know a bloodbath. But what's really going on in girl world? I'm Lauren, and that's Molly. On September 1st, 2009, we packed a minivan with our cameras and our mothers and embarked on an over 10,000 mile long journey across the country with the hope of establishing a national school program for girls. America! Raise your hands if you've ever been negatively affected by something that another girl has said or done to you. you got your pop yes. and, it's, and it's really hard to imagine girls in elementary school having such hatred inside of them. I was really scared to walk from one class to the other without being pushed into a locker, coming home with a black eye, because I didn't know what they were going to do. How many of you guys have daughters? Three daughters. And have you all seen this sort of like vicious behavior between Oh them? yeah, mine will go to Fist City over a pretzel. Like guys are all friends and stuff. So like girls are just like, I don't like you and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I resent the school system, I guess maybe it's not just local. It's a bigger picture than that because they don't have anything in place that I can find. You know, I, I still even today, I never really told anyone how much it hurt. I think I've been one of the best friends that I could be to anybody, and I'd just love to have a friend like that for me. You know, even if they're not nice to you, it's that feeling of you don't know their story. So don't assume that you know their story. She said, I wish I was dead, Mom. And she was nine. If there's one thing we can all be, we may not all be beautiful, we may not all be smart, we may not all be talented, but we can all be kind. The boys will also have a special classroom presentation on bullying. We are the school community that believes in kindness. Be kind to yourself and to each other. Here's a trailer to the bully video. The last couple of days, we had heard that Tyler had his head shoved into a wall locker. He said he is a geek. My concern is, is that you were making someone feel so uncomfortable that they didn't want to be in school. I feel kind of nervous going to school because I like learning, but I have trouble with making friends. said he's a geek and some kids have told him that he's worthless to go hang himself. 
And I think he got to the point to where enough was enough. Tonight, a tragic situation. A Perkins boy, just 11 years old, believed to have been desperate enough to take his own life. This is a, an awfully complicated and difficult issue. Kids will be kids, boys will be boys. They're just cruel at this age. Here, what we get is nothing's wrong. We didn't do anything. Everything's fine. They punch me, strangle me, take things from me, sit on me. Give it to him hard! He's not safe on that bus. I've been on that bus. They are just as good as gold. My voice is not going to fall silent. I will go to my grave until a difference is made. We reached out to, to parents that have lost kids, parents of kids that are being bullied all over the world, and it took off like wildfire. All it takes is for one person to stand up. Be the difference. Go out and find that one child, that new kid, standing over there by himself. Be willing to stand up for him. Everything starts with one and builds up. Eventually, we have an army. If we all do it together, we will change the world. Well, that's it for this edition of Mountain Lion Talk in the Morning. I'm a Cinder Mineral. And I'm a Pop-Tart. And have, have a marvelous Monday, and don't forget to roar! roar.